Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for hanging out with me. How have you been? How have you been? How have you been? How have you been? Okay, enough of that. If you just clicked on this video and it is your first time here, I hope you like it. I hope you like me. I hope you stick around. I hope you hit that subscribe button because you know you want to just boop, just boop, 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 hit it, hit it, hit it. I have a dirty mind. I need to not say hit it. Okay. This is not going to be like, I say, look, you know what? I'm going to preface this by saying this is not going to be a long story. This is just a, I've gotten some, a couple of DMs asking me about it. So I'm like, let me do a story about it. So just like in here real quick and said let's do a story but you know I get I get to talking so Lord knows how long this video is gonna be now I'm gonna try to make it short I'm gonna try to make it short and sweet okay all right and y'all y'all are awesome because oh, I'm almost at a hundred subscribers and I know that's not a lot but I've been doing this for a month and I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I'm so grateful because it's y'all. It's y'all choosing to be like, boop, subscribe. Thank you. Th thank you. That's it. Thank you. Okay. So, I'm sure you saw the title. We had a very, very expensive spider murder at our house. And I'm gonna tell you how it went down. First, let me tell you, I'm very clumsy. If I can fall over something or trip on something or fall down some stairs or anything else like that I'm gonna do it so just know that I'm probably the clumsiest person ever oh lord I mean it's bless my heart that's that's, that's I will say okay I'm gonna try to make it short I'm gonna try to make it short okay so y'all know Miss Coco, look up here, hey, look. Look at him, Tito, Tito, pretty. Okay, so y'all know she's in every video because that's my soulmate dog. Well, what had happened was, I was outside with her, uh, taking her potty, just in our backyard, and our backyard has, so like if you go out our back door, I should have just took y'all with me out there, but it's too late now and that'd make the video way long. So when you go out our back door, we have um, like a covered patio and then we have, and then the concrete like still extends probably another, I don't know, 20 feet. So we've got like 20 feet covered and then another 20 feet that's not covered. And, and it's a square, obviously. And then we have grass all behind that. It's like, I don't know, half an acre or something. Like, I don't know, something like that. So at the edge of this patio, you know, like, cause it's a square. So, you know, the edge of the patio, if y'all can see that, that would be like the edge of the patio. Con so concrete right here, grass right here. Coco was in the grass and there was also a wolf spider in the grass. Basically a mini tarantula. Okay? Yes. Horrifying. The stuff of nightmares. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it would have tried to kill us all if I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have 
killed at first. Just, I'm just saying. So, she's in the grass, and it's at the edge of this concrete. She's So, she's on, like, this side. And I'm standing, like, right at the edge. And also, I'm terrified of spiders. So, I'm standing right at the edge. And she's, you know, sniffing around. And then I look over, and I see this mini tarantula wolf spider. And I see her reach to, like, sniff. And I'm like, oh! <gasps> So I stumped. What I didn't know though was, and when I stomped, I put all my weight into it. I put my whole, everything I had into that stomp. I mean, that was, that, that was a stomp. Okay, it was a stomp. Stomped. That, that spider was going to die on the first time. I'm telling you, many tarantulas that thought that, 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 that ooh, it was, it was, it was, I'm telling you, we had a plan to come up in here and kill all of us. Was planning. I wasn't going to let it happen. So I stomped. But what I didn't know, quit licking my hand. But what I didn't know when I stomped in that part of the ground. There was a depression in the grass right where I stomped because like I said, anybody else would have stomped, it would have been on flat grass. Not me. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. I've got to do something to injure myself. I have to. So there was a depression and I'm right-handed, so I'm like right-footed too, I guess. So I stomped with my right foot because that, that's just, um, like I said, it's just my dominant side, I guess. And I did have a history in this, in this leg of uh, kneecap dislocations, closed patellar dislocations is what they're called. It had happened, it had happened probably maybe four times before, but like every time I was able to just, ah! You know, because it happens so fast and like you just buckle and I'm dramatic as it is. So I'm like, ah, and I'm like I just, and just pop it, like, pop it, and it just pops back in place. So, and then it just, it'll like swell up for, you know, like a week or so, but then it would just get better. So... Spider and saved everybody in the family because I'm telling you that was a hit spider he was coming to assassinate all of us he was they he had a hit him and all his little friends he had a hit out on us because I I killed one of his other friends in the kitchen he was he was coming back he was he was like mm, she killed my buddy the other day actually about five years ago after the flood of 2016 there was a wolf spider in my kitchen and I immediately texted my pest control guy and he knows that I'm terrified of spiders and he was like I will be right there and I'm like I need to see the corpse which you know I had like because it ran up under the dishwasher and I'm like hey you're supposed to pull the dishwasher you pulling that dishwasher out I gotta see the corpse or I'm not gonna sleep but anyway so oh hit spider over here coming to pay me back for killing this friend five years ago. You know, because he was waiting till I wasn't, until I was, got comfortable with one. Like, I'm just kidding. So, I stomped, and there was a depression, so of course, you know, my, my leg went backwards, and my knee dislocated. Well, what I didn't know at the time was that I also tore my media patella femoral ligament or MPFL. So I'm like, oh Lord, I done dislocated my kneecap again, but that's all right because the spider's dead. Spider's dead, Coco's safe, we're good. But we weren't good because, you know, I started 
like my knee, I was just like, something's different. Something's different about this one. Like my knee just ain't right. Like I can't, mm -mm, something, something's wrong. So I went to the orthopedic doctor who, fun fact, <laughs> is also Drew Brees' doctor. If y'all are Saints fans. Um, he's actually the Saints doctor and the LSU orthopedic doctor, I think. I think he's for both. And, and high school. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Uh, so I went to him and they did like a CT scan and he's like, yeah, so you tore your ligament and you're gonna have to have surgery. And I'm just like, oh, only, on, only person on earth that's gonna stomp a spider and have to have surgery. So, he's like, this is how it's going to go. He said, you know, since you've just totally obliterated that ligament and my meniscus, which there's nothing, you, you, he just snipped that off. That, there's not really anything you can do for that. So, did a good job on my ligament. I, to I tore it up good. I made sure to just... Anyway, he's like, I'm about to put a cadaver ligament in there. And of course, my little brain goes, I wonder if it's going to be like a serial killer's ligament. I hope it's not a serial killer. Is that going to make me, like, mean or something? You know, because I'm, I'm stupid. I'm an idiot. I'm immature. All of those things. So, um, no, I'm sure it was just a very nice organ donor, regular person, ligament. So I have surgery and oh Lord. Y'all, I asked for a nerve block because I had, you can probably see the, the scar on this. I had to queer veins release surgery on there and I had a nerve block and um, to, it's basically like, like that arm is paralyzed. You, you can't feel nothing. So I asked for a nerve block in my leg because it lasts, so it, it, I mean, it lasts for like a good 12, 15 hours. Well, the nerve block didn't work. Of course, of course it, of course it didn't. Lord, 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 Lord. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, yeah, that's my story. I stomped a spider, tore my media patella femoral ligament, tore up my meniscus. Oh, y'all, oh my gosh, y'all. I forgot to take this part. Okay, so not only, okay, how do I explain this? We're gonna do this. When he did surgery, he, since he had to use a cadaver ligament, he had to drill through my bone, like through it, like from one side to the other in three different spots. And then he shaved eight millimeters off of my femur bone. I thought for sure because of this wrist surgery I had surgery on Friday I was back to work on Monday I was like girl that's honey this ain't gonna be nothing it gonna, it's gonna be fine it's gonna be I'll be driving in no time no time mm -mm -mm. I was wrong I was wrong. MPFL reconstruction surgery. It's very painful. Very painful. Extremely painful. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna make this long. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna stop. 
I'm gonna zip it up. 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 I just love talking to y'all and I like when y'all talk back so guess what leave me a comment and keep on DMing me with ideas and I know I said this before but it's coming it's coming my true crime story I've already started filming it um, like getting all my pictures and stuff of, you know, so I can show y'all with pictures. I can pop pictures in there when I'm editing and stuff. But yeah, keep DMing me stuff that y'all want to hear about, like this expensive spider. Oh, good Lord. That's me. That's a, that's a day with me. Ooh, it ain't never dull. <laughs> okay. So, um, comment and let me know if you've ever done some stupid stuff like that. Because I have a lot, a lot of times. Um, oh, also let me know, I've had a couple of, uh, and by a couple I mean like eight requests for, um, true crime stories, like different ones that, that people want me to tell. Uh, and I have some ideas of, um, that I have in my notes in my phone because I want to do stuff that, some, you know, like I'm not, I don't want to do Ted Bundy. I want to do stuff that, you know, people don't really know about so I can like really get in there and be like, y'all, this is some messed up stuff. So leave me a comment. Or DM me. Or do both. Because I love reading y'all's comments. I love reading y'all's comments. So, subscribe. Hit that button. You know you want to. Just boop. Boop. It's easy. Just boop. hit it. Subscribe. Subscribe. And then hit that bell next to it. And it'll pop up and say all personalized or none. Click all. So you don't ever miss this train wreck that is me and y'all know I don't I always say this but I, you're not gonna be getting notifications all the time from me because I don't, I don't make videos all the time um, I make them just enough just 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 the right amount uh, share like don't forget to like it Y'all have been, like I said, yep, y'all rock. How did I get, how did I get this lucky? Y'all are awesome. Um, like, subscribe, comment, share, and I'm going to quit talking because this is going to be a short video. <laughs> I love y'all, and I will see y'all in the next video. But keep DMing me and let like letting me know what you want me to talk about and what true crime stories you want to hear from me. Bye. I hope y'all have a good day and night and week.